Hi there, this is David, and I am pissed. Welcome to my review of Fragrance Story for the Nintendo 3DS, a game, a real term that I use loosely here, a game, the last game that was released for the system. When this was first announced and I first heard about it back in March, I was pretty excited. It was supposed to be a strategy RPG in the same vein as something like Final Fantasy Tactics, which is one of my favorite strategy RPGs of all time. I looked at some of the screenshots, it had pixel artwork, it seemed to be a pretty unique story based upon like a flower kingdom under attack, and I was like, okay, I can get into this, I can deal with this. And then they were selling a collector's edition, which I have right over here, as well as a standard physical edition. The collector's edition was costing $70. The standard physical, same 3DS price of $35. And I was like, you know what? This is a tactical, turn-based JRPG looking like Final Fantasy Tactics. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna splurge for the collector's edition. It's probably gonna be like the last RPG or maybe even the last game released for the system. So I was like, what could possibly go wrong? How could this possibly be bad? Well, I didn't realize that I was about to get scammed. Let me tell you about this game. First of all, it's about 10 minutes long. I swear to God, it's about 10 minutes long. That's the game. There are three stages. Three. Seriously, there are three stages. Each stage is just a flat battlefield. There's no elevations whatsoever to speak of. There's really no strategy to speak of either. It's literally just choosing a bunch of characters who have no name, no story, no nothing behind them, and then going into battle and fighting like the same three or four monsters. That's it. That's the game. That's it. There are scenes between each battle, and those scenes are voice acted, shockingly enough, but the only people who are voice acted are your hero, some mango flower queen, and then the big bad wolf. That's it. These other people who join up with you, these randoms, they're never mentioned in the story. They don't have any kind of voice acting whatsoever. They're just kind of there. There's also permadeath, which is a thing that I don't really like, but honestly, I don't really care because it's 10 minutes long. If if a character dies in the first battle, then they won't be there for the second and third battle. There's literally only three battles in the game, so do I really care if there's permadeath? No. The battles themselves take roughly two minutes? The cutscenes between the battle, maybe one minute? That's it? Um, the battle system is nothing to write home about because it's completely random! Whenever you go and you choose an attack, a little spinning wheel will pop up, and then basically you want to stop that spinning wheel on a critical hit. If you don't get a critical hit, then you'll get, like, a regular hit. Again, that's it. That's the game. There's no strategy, random characters, the characters don't even walk, they didn't even put walking animations, they just have them all kind of jump to where you want to go. It's super simple. It's just not even a game. Like, what is this? Who's going to sell a game that lasts 10 minutes? Like, I don't understand. I feel so ripped off right now. They spent more time developing the little doodads and knickknacks and crap for the collector's edition than they did developing the game. I spent more time unboxing the actual box than I did playing the game. Like, I can't even fathom how upsetting this is and just how ridiculous this is that this is even allowed in this day and age. How this past Nintendo's quality control is beyond me. Back when I was a kid, there used to be this little Nintendo stamp seal of approval. 
and that was Nintendo's way of saying, hey, we have a quality game here. Um, the reason why they did that was back in the early 80s, um, Atari was basically inundated and bombarded with just a bunch of crappy, scammy, shitty games. And Nintendo was like, hey, we need to differentiate ourselves from Atari. We need to say, we're not going to have crap games. We're going to have good games, good high quality games, and we're going to give those games a Nintendo stamp seal of approval. Where is my seal of approval for this? I don't understand. I also don't understand how they got some big names behind it. Um, they got like a musical director who has directed um, scores for other games in, in the tactical genre. Games like Final Fantasy Tactics. How did this person even sign up for this? I don't understand. Like, if you're going to go all out and you're going to try to get some big names in the industry, why don't you actually try to make your game good? It's like the same maps, the same enemies, no strategy, no nothing. Now, in their defense, and I hate to even defend them, in their defense, you could maybe if you want to spend upwards of four-ish hours on the game, but that's if you 100% it. That's if after the, um, that's if after the story mode is done, you feel like going through the challenge maps, which are basically the exact same maps, just kind of randomized with some other kind of random enemies. You could do that, and then collect some mango tickets, which give your characters more stats, but, like, honestly, why? Why would you care? Why would you want to? And I know that you can purchase this game digitally for $4, I believe? $4 on a Nintendo eShop? But I was like, you know what? This is going to be the final game for the system to find a physical release with this collector's edition. And I was all about it. And nobody told me, no one prepared for me that this was going to be some scam lasting 10 minutes. And yeah, this right here, this battle that you're seeing on screen, that's the final battle, guys. That's it. That's it. After this battle's over, the game is over. Have fun. What a freaking waste. Anyway, I just had to get this off my shoulders. It's a complete scam. Do not buy this game. Do not support this bullshit at all. Let me know what you guys feel about this game in the comments yourselves, because I know some of y'all purchased it. And if you purchased it on my recommendation, I'm very sorry, because <laughs> if I had any inkling, if I knew that it was going to be anything like this, I would have never in a million years even brought it up on my channel. But I've been scammed, I've been bamboozled just like the rest of y'all. So. Let me know what you guys feel about this, and as always, try to have a good day.